Okay, James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. Mega Life 21 Progressive Discussions. I am directly, and I repeat, directly headed for the Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet on Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. It is, thank God, it finally became much cooler. The temperature really dropped. It, it, it is the beginning of uh, September. Um, the, the Friday after Labor Day weekend, 2018. And uh, the heat wave is over because we've had a horribly oppressive summer with the heat and humidity. And as you can see, this is a rare treat that I am directly approaching the buffet, the lunch buffet. Can't go wrong for 10 bucks, all right? All right, there you go. All right. And, and this is the perfect weather. I love it. It's overcast, no sun. It very it has a nice gothic look. It is going to rain. And it will put me in the mood for much uh, consumption of fine, fresh seafood. Okay, I am entering the building. James P. Madonna is entering the building right now. Right now. Okay, let's see what this Friday has in store for me here at the Royal Abachi. Let's see what this Friday has in store. Oh, everything's quiet by the Mongolian barbecue. Oh, sushi, not too bad. I uh, see some uh, bok choy. Will not give you much joy. Eh, the duck doesn't look too bad. What do we got over here? What, what's the entree here? Ooh, codfish. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The lamps are on. The lamps are on. Look at that. Look how beautiful. The lamps are on. Oh my god. Godfish. Oh, bacala. Look at that. Deep kebab. Uh, the only, I guess the only way I'm going to get lamb is in the Arabic rice. Um, what's this? Grilled ch ranch chicken? Nah, I don't want that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, any hardcore? Uh, white tuna is the only hardcore uh, sushi. Well, yeah, and the, uh, and the shrimp. And the octopus. They're a little chewy, though. It's a little chewy. Okay. What do we got over here? Italian uh, entrees. Oh, there you go. There's the Arabic rice. Okay, good. You know what? i tell you what. Me, me, me do a little surf and turf. Commodore Jeff Zambello. Well, actually, you know what? Forget about it. It's all bones. I don't see, I don't see any meat on the duck. The, pe the people took all the, the duck with the meat on it. I don't see anything. Goodbye, duck. Goodbye, duck. <laughs> I'm out of luck. But I will get, I will get turf. Oh, Jesus. Mama, can we get one of these? What happened to the lamb? There's no lamb in here. Mama. The lamb is gone. Oh my God, look at this. What's going on? What's going on here? I can, I, I don't want that. I gotta wait for, I'll wait for the next tray to come out. There's no lamb in there. I get this. Boy, I'm out of luck here, right? Huh? No lamb in the Arabic rice. What's going on here? What do I got left? What are my what are my choices? Tur uh, uh, surf and surf. How am I gonna get turf? I guess I'm gonna have to try some um, some armadillo kebabs here. I hope they're tender. All right? Or is it or is it a uh, woolly mammoth kebab? I have no idea. I'm gonna try one because. If it's tough, I'm not going to finish it. All right. What's going on here? How dare how dare the duck? How dare they take all the all the succulent pieces of duck? Didn't they know I was coming here? 
Don't they know I'm coming here? I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely disgustipated, uh, Commodore Jeff Sambo. I am disgustipated. All right, what do we got here? I gotta find a, a turf. I already got the surf with the codfish fillet here. Scrod cod. Scrod cod. Cock dribble fillet. All right, General Tezos chicken. Eh, I see that. I see that at home. It's Chinese takeout. All right, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do here? Man, what's going? What's going on here? Let me. Oh, let me see if the calamari's out. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, no, I don't see. I gotta find. I gotta find a turf. So far, I'm not. I'm not finding any turf. So what am I gonna end up with? Tur uh, <clears throat> uh, surf and surf. What do we got here? General So's chicken? You know, every time I ask people in the Chinese takeout, who's General So? They say they don't know. And I say, Gen General So? So what? Get it? Get it? So what? <laughs> but they also have something called General Chen. General Chen's chicken. I say, well, what's the difference? They don't know. Who was General Chen? Was he a real general? Was General So a real general? They don't say anything. They don't know their Chinese history. All right. Now I gotta find. I gotta find myself something to add to this. I think I'm a little early. I think I'm a little early. Oh dear. But you know what I'm gonna do, jabronis. I'm gonna take advantage of the papaya because the last time I hesitated. And I did not get any papaya. So I'm going to take advantage of this succulent papaya. Oh yeah, papaya. Papaya. Oh yeah, I'm not losing out this time. I'm going to be an opera, a tropical fruit opportunist. And, and, and partake in the magic melon of the tropics, papaya. It's bad enough I get I get aggravated from uh, people in the uh, circular strength training world with all the crap that I see, but I, I will be posting something. There's no doubt about that. I have something to say and it will be said. Commodore Jeff Sambello. But anyway, yeah. Well, that's good. Papayas were wonderful. A wonderful fruit. Now you can't see the food, right? All right. It really is. Now now I have uh, partaken in the papaya. The, I'm telling you, I'm tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. So what am I, what, how am I gonna add to the surf? Hard boiled eggs? That's, pe that's peasant food, uh, Commodore Jeff Zambello. Peasant food. It's for peasants. What the hell? What am I gonna do? Ah, I have a little grape leaves. I'll take a couple grape leaves as my salad. That's about it. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah. Now, I would have had succulent duck. I would have had duck. Well, I gotta come back for the limes. I would have had duck if the people didn't grab the duck. Now, this. This Muslim woman was, was cracking up when I, when I was talking about the duck. Somebody grabbing the good pieces. She was laughing, man. At least I got her to laugh, you know? All right. You know what? Let me go get a steak knife and, and get my limes. Oh, look, she gave me a lime. The waitress gave me a lime, but guess what? That's not enough limes. That's not enough. Doesn't she know that? Doesn't she? Doesn't she know that by now? That I use a thousand limes? Oh. Doesn't she know I use a thousand and one limes? What's the matter with these knuckleheads? Knuckleheads on social media, knuckleheads in, in, in real life. I'm surrounded by. I'm surrounded by knuckleheads. Or is it imbeciles or numbskulls? 
Well, any word that Mo Howard used is, is okay by me. You know what I think? I think the color green. I think the color green actually would go well with a beige bowl. I'm going to go with a beige bowl. It's not my favorite bowl, but hey, it's not my favorite bowl. It's not my favorite color, rather. But I think, you know, I like the color coordinate. You know, in case she brings me a mojito, which I doubt, because they don't have a liquor license. Right? Huh, these limes are seedless, it looks like. Are they genetically modified limes? I don't want, I don't want any toxic limes. Okay. Take a quick look at the dessert. There's a baklava. And they will be putting out more delectable desserts later. Back there, usually at 3, 3 or 3.30. But at least I got my papaya. There it is. Bless, bless their hearts for putting out lots of papaya. They must have received my uh, mental telepathy, my brain waves, about the last time when I missed out. Okay, color coordination, brother. Color coordination. Royal Hibachi. Oh, there's the ice cream station. Soak in, uh, in the beauty of the flashing LED lights. I don't see any fatty arbuckles uh, here. Any fatty arbuckle children hovering over the uh, freezer, letting all the cold out. That's good. Uh, he, now he's blocking the LED lights. Oh, there we go. Obviously, you can now hear a typical undisciplined child in the United States. There you go, Commodore. Well, they're putting out the more stuffed crab shells. This just came out. A cornucopia of the sea. Definitely going to try that. Eh, no, forget about the duck. I'm going to have a little cornucopia. Zupa de... No, not zupa de pesh. Uh, bouillab bouillab balls. I mean bouillabaisse. Cock dribble clams. Some... Uh, New Zealand green lip mussels. Okay, the pink ones are female. I'm serious, and the, and the gray ones are male. I'm very serious about that. Calamari rings. More clams. Ah, reminds me of old New England. A couple more calamari rings. Too bad I don't see calamari tentacles, but you know. What are you gonna do? Hey, it's another clam. Now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put some broth. Hey, I'm gonna have to put some broth on that. On this. Now you know what's gonna happen if I put broth on this dish. I'm gonna spill it. I know it. I know it's going to happen. Commodore Jeff Zambell. Hey, there's a, a male. Okay. 
okay? Let's give, let's give these jabronis an education out there on the internet, all right? First of all, jabronis. Well, how come I can't? Anyway, I can't peel this off. It's a shell. But anyway, is the, the male New Zealand green lip muscle. Maybe it applies to the um, Northeast American muscle, and there's the female. Male, female, got it? Education, you get an education from James P. Madonna. Oh, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. There's one, hey, there's a, there's a delight. Remember that, remember that beverage, Clamato, Clamato? Drinking a lot of it in San Diego and Baja. Some Clamato. All right. I don't know if it was. Oh, there we go. Got a little cock dribble on it. A little broth. Okay. Okay. Now. Now I gotta find a way to get some broth. And you know what? I'm gonna use my head. I'm gonna use the clamshell as a spoon. There you go. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. These millennials, these millennials today wouldn't think it is. It's all, it's all common sense. Look. Don't touch with your hands, please. You can't touch anything with your hands. I know. No, I'm, I'm, this is for my... Doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. You cannot touch anything with your hands, please. Okay. Thank you. Don't ever do that, please. You know what? I've just changed my um, my overall um, the um, okay. Hey, what's the name of the real estate company that owns? This I have book? no idea. I, okay, because I got eight thousand hits on my my Google reviews. I want to bash them for not doing the right thing. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, all right, maybe these other stores now. Because I will, I will, I will tear them apart. Believe me, you know me. I don't take, I don't take prisoners. All right, this is the first time here at Royal Bocce guacamole. I don't know, guacamole with potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna pass on the potatoes, but. I definitely will not pass on the guacamole. Holy moly. Guacamole. Alright. Looks good to me. I'm not going to do guacamole and potatoes, that's for sure. But uh, I'm not in the mood for squish squash. I'm not in the mood. No, no squish squash for me. It's always French toast here lately. You know what? Never tried it before. I'm gonna have one slice of French toast. I don't know why, but oh, the papaya is still there. Papaya is still there. I'll try one slice. Yeah, that's it. Just one because it's not, it's not whole grain bread. Here we got a fatty arbuckle over here. Fatty ar, fatty arbuckles. Semi, semi uh, fatty arbuckle, hovering uh, over the uh, ice cream. Okay, well, the marinated beef. Was well, actually tender, which I didn't think it would be. It is very. It was very good. Uh, pull your base. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna get some raw white tuna. That's all. Um, I wonder what that is. Oh. 
some more white tuna. All right, get a few of these. And that's it. And one more for the road. No Mongolian barbecue action. It is kind of slow today. Maybe that's why everybody is kind of grouchy today. Even though I don't appreciate people taking their their um, issues out on uh, on me because I don't I don't I don't fuck I don't fuck around. Anybody wants wants trouble, they, I'm not hard to find. Well, when they say handle, they mean handle with your hands. Uh, as you can see, there's tons. You know, any any decent person is going to use the tongs uh, to grab the meat. You know what I mean? They're not going to use their hands. So, do I sense a little anal retensiveness here? Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, we got some um, uh, broiled um, salmon fillet. But I, um, I will say that the uh, beef kebabs are excellent. I thought they would be dry, but they're not. They're not dry. Okay, so this is kind of a weird combo. Oh, they're putting out whiting now. Whiting, like like the uh, Yankees pitcher, Whitey Ford. who was named after the whiting, I think, because his mother uh, loved whiting. and named her, her son, a Whitey Ford, after the whiting. And there we go, whiting. Is this saying they call it an Italian merlutz, St. Teresa's fish. All right, all right. Oh, no action, no Mongolian barbecue action. Not today, not this week. Uh, post um, Labor Day weekend, 2018. Okay, and um, like I said, this is a little odd combination, right? French toast, guacamole, and white tuna sashimi. A little unusual. All right. I anticipate the um, ice cream will be very solid because there was only one kid and uh, the parents uh, supervised that child by the ice cream, hard ice cream. Um, oh, they brought out the tres leche. Brought out the tres leche. We got some powdered um, cocoa on top of this cake. What's that? The pie is still there. Oh, Eureka! They finally removed my dirty dishes. Good thing I didn't hold my breath. Oh, I have no idea why I tip so well. You know, most people don't deserve a big tip, to be honest with you. They really don't. And that goes for the for the bitch at uh, La Fortaleza on Midland Avenue in Garfield. You know, maybe she's got a problem with the uh, Caucasian man. You know, so. I don't know why I shouldn't have tipped her big. I think a lot of people are cruising for a bruising nowadays. The old Sicilian uh, five knuckle shuffle across the, the chops. Hey, since I'm in a, such a wonderful mood, uh, this message um, 
is, uh, well, first I want to give a shout out and a hello to Professor David Coulter. Professor Dave Coulter is an outstanding beer reviewer. When I say beer, I mean high quality, high end, top shelf craft beer. And I also want to give a shout out to my good friend and also fermented beverage, um, political and nostalgic uh, baseball and classic rock and roll enthusiast, Mr. Uh, uh, J. Ronald Tirio, J. Tirio. I want to give a shout out to him. And all, of course, Commodore Jeff Zambello. And uh, Salvatore Mercurio, the creator Mario Petrus, and everyone else. But being that I gave a shout out and a hello to Professor Dave Coulter, as seen on the web, I want to call out Red Rooster, you punk. You son of a bitch. I don't care. I know you have aliases that have been trying to hack me on the internet and trying to push my buttons and antagonize me on both face I know you have aliases you ugly freak red rooster and I know you have people that or a person that knows how to hack right I don't know if it's that that scrawny Seymour guy or maybe he's another alias of yours but I would love to, being that you have a face only a mother can love, I would love to uh, take one of your passions, which is Velveeta or better yet, Cheese Whiz. A can of Cheese Whiz. Wouldn't, wouldn't, that, be, wouldn't that be a fantasy if somebody took a can of Cheese Whiz and, and just shoved it down your throat and made you drown on Cheese Whiz, Red Rooster? Wouldn't that be a kick in the head? That would be really enjoyable if someone did that. But I know you have a hacker and I know you have aliases. You know, I don't care if you're a government employee because I can go, I can enlist in any academy and, and graduate with flying colors and kick your ass. Or even, I don't even have to go to, through any academy. I'll kick your ass right in front of my house. And that goes for any of your buddies. Okay, I scream. It is time for I scream. James P. Madonna here. What am I gonna have? Got chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, chocolate chip mint, rainbow sherbet, coffee, vanilla. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's orange. I thought that was French vanilla, it's orange. Regular vanilla. Um, maybe I should try the penguin again, the black and white ice cream. Yeah, let me try the penguin. So anyway, I think I'm going to make the penguin, the yeah. penguin ice cream, vanilla and chocolate. I'm going to make it real high. You want to be on YouTube? Want to advertise your uh, profession? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have enough work? Yeah. Greatest handyman in the world. <laughs> handyman David is the greatest handyman in 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 the New New York metropolitan area. The best. I see you. I see you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Okay. That's it, Commodore Jeff Zambello. The penguin is back, baby. The penguin is back. Dark chocolate with vanilla. What a work of art, huh? Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse lost one of his ears. What do you think? Commodore. Look at that. Right from the ice cream station, the hard ice cream station. I can't wait to autumn weather and of course the end of October when you come south. 
to meet up with me after your event. Can't wait. Can't be beat, man.